10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Schools Division Superintendent Dr. Salvador O. Chavo Jr., CISOFI. Schools District Supervisor Dr. Maria Teresa V. Villagracia. Honorable Captain Renante Leonardo and Barangay Councilors. Mrs. Nelida B. Liza, School Principal 2 of Balatang Elementary School. Parents, pupils, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the virtual graduation and moving up ceremony of Balatan Elementary School for school year 2020-2021. Now, let us witness the professional march of our candidates for graduation and completion. Let us stand to ask guidance from our God Almighty to show respect to our national flag by singing the national anthem and loyalty to our province and municipality by singing the Kapis and Mabusam hymns. Let us pray. Our loving and generous God, we praise and thank you for the bountiful blessings you have given us. Thank you for giving us a mind that can know and a heart that can love. Thank you for giving us the chance to continue learning amidst the pandemic that had caused a lot of changes in our lives. We are sorry for the times we have failed you. We humbly ask for your forgiveness. Father, help us stay focused on our studies. When learning becomes difficult, grant us the gifts of courage and enthusiasm. Grant us the grace to use our knowledge in making a difference to the lives of the people around us. All this we pray in your mighty name. Oh, 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 oh,
panuang pinili ang labaw sa tanan. Ong maratas mo ang kasaysayan, magapapiling sa akong tuhan. Ong kinaiyang mangkusaw noon, hindi hulit malawig na panahon. Mangkusaw noon ako, mangkusaw uban mo ako. Bisan di init kapalaran ako talon, mangkusaw noon ako sa kiyapon. Mangkusaw. Nagyan mong hamilig hindi ko Ginalarag ko ay kong pag-inilusan May paghida itag pagpinulikan Mambusaw nun ako Mambusaw uban mo ako Bisan di kinit ka pangaral ako Mambusaw nun ako sa kiyapon Mambusaw, umambusaw Pilihon ka upan mo ako Mambusaw, umambusaw Ipabugal ko ang kalan mo Mary Chaser Elacao, with honors, will give her words of welcome. Good morning, everyone. We are here today to celebrate and validate the 12th closing program of Balatan Elementary School. I am Mary Chaser Lakau and I am honored to have the opportunity to speak today. On behalf, on behalf of the entire batch 2020-2021, I would like to welcome all of you. I, I also want to thank all the parents, family, and friends for their love and constant support, as well as to the teaching staff of Balatan Elementary School for their guidance and patience in this pandemic school year. We truly owe you all that we are. Grade school has been an unforgettable journey that has prepared us for the future, whatever it may hold. These past six years have involved some of the most memorable and, and influential moments of our lives. Individually, our experiences here are unique, but together we share a common bond as members of the Batch 2021. And soon, too, we share a be the graduates of Balatan Elementary School. 
I am filled with excitement and ante anticipation as the next stage in my life is about to begin but without the support of our parents or guardian and our teachers. We may not have made it to this day. They have been there for us since the beginning, guiding us, helping us, and watching us grow. They have witnessed us mature and two responsible children. Our success is their success. So to everyone, let us celebrate day with re rejoicing and thanksgiving. Once again, welcome and God bless us all. We will now look into Mrs. Nilida B. Liza, Principal 2 of Balatan Elementary School, as she presents the candidates for graduation and also the confirmation of Dr. Salvador O. Ochavo Jr., CISO 5, Schools Division Superintendent. Dr. Salvador O. Ochavo Jr., CISO 5, Schools Division Superintendent, Division of Capiz. I have the honor to present to you 12 candidates for graduation of Balatan Elementary School for school year 2020-2021. They have satisfactorily completed the academic requirements prescribed by the Department of Education and now they are ready for your confirmation. By virtue of the authority in me vested by the Secretary of the Department of Education through the Regional Director, and upon the recommendation of your principal that all of you have completed and complied with all of the requirements of the basic education curriculum, I hereby confirm your graduation today and declare you graduates of basic education of the Department of Education CAPIS and award you your diploma with all of the privileges, rights, and entitlements pertinent thereto. Congratulations. Congratulations, graduates of Batch 2020-2021 of Balatan Elementary School. The distribution of diploma certificate to our graduates. Abilito Mark Ivan C. Hamiso John Lester L. Lamin Daniel M. Lavado John Kenneth L. Lavado Rex E. Lacaniel Seth Lawrence. Dayo Angel and J. Lacao Mary Chaser L. Luda Krishame V. Marcelo Jamea Andrea D. Torres Jacel M. Vicente Maria Shannon G. Distribution of certificates to our kindergarten computers. Abayon Lores Jello D. Bautista John Lee L. Bergano AJ G. Cirelo Jason D. Eduardo Mateo Gabriel E. Franco Fiel Erjan R. Lavado Jester L. Lavado Ryan Valdenervo. Lustica Rigi Jr. F. Magallanes Jairel L. Marcelo James Andre B. Ophalia Allen Ray L. Soriano Kevin James B. Abayo Shane Eliza M. Hameson Archelene L. Lakao Brianna Alexa P. Lago Gia Lorraine S. Laonio Angia Ray L. Lavado Gisamane M. Magallanes Nina Grace G. Oton Alia Jadet S. Salsa Gia Rose L. Senor Stephanie L. Tiso Mary Jane T. Tugda Frenchie R. Verdadero Syrah Elisa O. 
The pandemic brought by COVID-19 cannot stop our pupils to question knowledge, to learn, acquire and absorb learning for their improvements, especially that they will make another step for their edification. And to gather their fruits of endeavor, here are the academic awardees for school year 2020-2021. The chiefs in the Department of Education give the messages to inspire us and our graduates. Let's listen from our Deputy Secretary, Leonor Embriones, our Regional Director, Region 6, Dr. Ramel O. Oitico. Our Schools Division Superintendent, Dr. Salvador O. Ochavo Jr., CISO 5, and Dr. Maria Teresa V. Villagracia, District Supervisor, Mambuso East District. Good day to each and everyone who is uh, attending virtually present at this time of our graduation ceremonies for our beloved and uh, very precious uh, graduates uh, for the school year which ends at this uh, time. First of all, I'd like to greet the parents and family members without whose sacrifices, whose uh, reminders and whose participation in the learning process for our uh, graduates have resulted in this culmination uh, program. Uh, this year, your role has changed uh, drastically. Where we've always thought, we've always believed that the matter of educating our children rests nearly exclusively on our teachers and our staff. This time, you parents, you family members, you who are in the households of our learners have expanded your role and contributed to this wonderful day wherein finally, finally, our learners are graduating in this culmination exercise. So congratulations, because this year has not been very easy, has not been a, a picnic for our teachers, for our family members, as well, uh, especially the parents, mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, and all who have contributed to the uh, achievement of our learners at this time. So, maraming salamat at congratulations, parents and family members. Mas malaki ang role ninyo at this time compared to earlier graduation exercises. Secondly, I would also like to greet our teachers without whose very uh, careful uh, review and careful supervision of the work of our pupils and our learners this event would not have take would not be taking place um, at all and so thank you teachers your role has also expanded in addition to seeing to it that the modules are faithfully followed the assignments are correctly uh, implemented and the learners are truly learning and you have had to deal with new ways of assessing the performance also of the learners. So congratulations, teachers, for enduring, for your patience, for your love for our learners, and your willingness to engage in a way and methods 
of teaching which are different from those which are used to. Assessment must have been especially difficult for you, especially since you were not able to see most of the time our students in face-to-face -face, uh, meetings. And most of the meetings, of course, were virtual. We'd also like to thank the local government units for their interest, for their cooperation, and for their continuing, continuing uh, contributions to the needs of education, even as our children do not go to school. Your donations of material as well as financial resources at this time are most welcome and your advice has been taken seriously not only by our teachers, by our school officials, but also by our officials in the Department of Education. We continually talk with local government units especially in times of disaster, in times of great need for classrooms, for space, and for responses to unforeseen emergencies. Thank you, uh, local government uh, units. But of course, most of the congratulatory uh, greetings of fall on the deserving uh, graduate. Each and every one of you is truly special. You are different from the other graduates who have passed through the portals of your school. You went to school practically without seeing your teachers, if at all. You went to school with your parents, your mothers, and your fathers hovering over your shoulders and seeing to it that you are able to complete your assignments. You are completing your studies at a time when examinations and assessments are different. You are culminating this uh, long months of, of hard work at this time, uh, even as you have to do family chores, even as you are distracted, and even as your world has turned upside down, and it seems and it appears as if we don't know what the future holds and what will happen next. But you have persevered and now you are ready to graduate. And therefore you deserve each and every bit of congratulations from us in the Department of Education, from your parents and family members, your teachers, from the officials in local government, as well as in the parent teachers associations. You deserve each and every single congratulatory pat on your back, each hug virtually, of course, and each greeting, which I am sure you are also receiving virtually. I don't know if you will remember this event many, many years from now. I have tried to recall myself who our graduation speaker was when I finished high school and when I finished uh, my college studies. All I remember is that the graduation speaker was someone important, someone who was invited, because that someone is supposed to give a message. What was more important to us graduates at that time was the excitement of the celebrations, the happiness and the joy of our parents, 
the sadness of parting from our classmates and from our teachers, and the enjoyment of all the graduation events that usually take place come commencement day. When I was a college student, we had a series of events which were designed to uh, embed in our minds which were designed to help us remember and not forget our days in college. We would spend one whole day going around the campus, visiting the classrooms, saying goodbye to our teachers, and sharing our memories. We would have bonfires to say goodbye to each other. We had baccalaureate services where we committed ourselves to God and we prayed for guidance when we go out into the world. So many celebrations and the speaker of course is the least important and easily forgotten component of the graduation um, exercise. Nonetheless, I will uh, exert all efforts to share with you what I see are things or issues which a graduate uh, should uh, remember and recall. I have said that you are very special. You are very different. You are pioneering. There has been no other class like your class. There has been no other graduate like you as a graduating student because you are the very first graduate of the blended learning response to education uh, in the Philippines. And so you ask yourself, what awaits you in the world outside? You can either work because the kind of curriculum you survived and under one as a student will enable you to go to work if you wish to go to work. Some of you will proceed to further studies and this would be a wonderful thing because there are many opportunities for further expanding your knowledge, for further answering and looking for explanations of issues, events that are that make you curious, especially in science, in technology, and also uh, in the arts. So you can work, you can go to further uh, studies, and perhaps some of you will settle down, uh, hopefully not too soon, so you can pursue what you really want to do. So today, this is why we call it, we call this exercise a commencement exercise. It's not the end of our studies. It's not the end of all our efforts with blended learning, with modules, with floods, with earthquakes, and of course, with COVID. It's a commencement of doors opening to you. More doors will be open because you are a graduate. You can work, you can proceed for further studies, you can help your parents, and you can perhaps look for opportunities to do what you have always wanted to do whether at work, whether at advanced studies, whether at learning more in science and technology, in mathematics and in the arts. All of these opportunities are available to you. More doors are being opened. I hope you will select the door which arouses your curiosity, the door which will help you know more about this world. 
and the door which will allow you to contribute to the development of our country and contribute whatever we can to solve our problems and our challenges. Congratulations once more to each and every one of you. Congratulations to you, parents and family members. Congratulations to you, teachers. When I was chair of the board of Silliman University, each time we had graduation ceremonies during the baccalaureate and during commencement itself, I would cry. I would cry because you are sending out into the world a new batch of, of graduates and we want to be sure that what is awaiting them is appropriate. We want to be sure that they are ready for what awaits them when they select which door to open. And so we tell you, go out to the world, do whatever you want to do. God be with you and be sure, be assured that all of us love each and every one of you. Congratulations. Congratulations, dear graduates and completers of school year 2020-2021. You make us all look at the future with anticipation and pride. You have once again proven that true champions can thrive in the midst of the challenging realities of life. Your sheer grit and resilience have brought you this far in your lifelong pursuit of quality education. Your achievements call for a celebration. You have risen above the worst of times and have responded to the overwhelming demands of the new normal with Alan. Your education must not only be reflected in your report cards, but must be manifested in how you masterfully deal with life, an embodiment of courage, compassion, character, and competence. As you relish this moment, Remember to celebrate your success with our indefatigable advocates and champions of quality education. Teachers, parents, school administrators, education leaders, stakeholders, and friends, among others. Your success seals our triumph over trials. It propels our collective aspiration for a brighter future despite the limitations caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. This is just the beginning of a beautiful journey ahead. We firmly believe in your potential for success because in Deped Region 6, every child is a champion. As you cross this time of immense challenges and great opportunities, keep your passion for greatness alive. May your achievements inspire everyone to move forward with a renewed sense of hope, meaning, and purpose. Together, we shall rise as one. Ipadayong ta ang pagpalanggaanay. Once again, congratulations and mabuhay. My felicitations and expression of jubilation for victories won by the Department of Education over pandemic. Education, though affected, but the Department of Education was able to rise above the situation and stand victors of the situation. My congratulations to every learner. My congratulations to every parent. My congratulations to every teacher. My congratulations to the administrators, local government units, and every community member. Indeed, campus divisions basic education learning continuity plan was successful in its content and implementation. To this, I can say, paraphrasing 2 Timothy chapter 4, verses 7 to 8, the Department of Education copies has fought a good fight. 
finish the race and kept the faith. Congratulations to every graduate and Godspeed. Congratulations. My warmest greeting to all the parents, guardians, graduating learners and students, my colleagues in the profession, and to all the active stakeholders. This 2021 DepEd Moving Up Completion and Graduation Theme Kalidad ng edukasyon, lalong patatagin sa gitna ng pandemia. Strengthening the quality of education amid COVID-19 pandemic. To highlight that amid all the challenges, our learners' rights to inclusive and quality education and to safeguard from the health risk of COVID-19 must be given priority. This is stipulated in Deped Order Number 12, Series 2021. The Department of Education has devised ways and means on how to reach out, facilitate teaching and learning through the parents, older brothers and sisters, uncles and aunts, and other concerned citizens in the neighborhood, allocate funds for the modules and printing materials, development of learning activity sheets and the like, in order for our learners and students to persevere and hopefully finish their studies. Our school's division of CAPIS has done their level best in trying to combat the hardships and struggles we are undergoing right now just to cater the needs of our clientele in the field. All we need to have is self-discipline and self-interest to learn under the tutelage of our parents and teachers and other supporters at home for our school tasks. The department in endeavors for excellence has not been fully realized, but we have done something far better than what we expect for. This is the result of our collaboration, helping hands, positive attitudes, willing to go extra miles, and the happiness of sharing just to pursue our hopes and aspirations to our beloved children. We, educators, are also parents ourselves, so we knew your feelings and sentiments. Much to our desire in conducting face-to-face -face classes to our clientele, but the present situation won't tolerate and permits. As teachers and parents, we have extended our assistance and we will continue to do our share and utmost support for the benefit of our learners and students. They have gone this far because of our active involvement and participation. Again, as parents, school heads, teachers and stakeholders who have big hearts for education, so they will finish their studies. Despite these trying times, we're still here and stand firm for the love of the Filipino learners. Para sa bata, para sa bayan. Congratulations, graduates. May God bless you and your next journey. Mabuhay. Thank you so much for your stimulating messages. We salute you, moms and sirs. The words of gratitude and pledge of loyalty will be delivered by Jamelia Andrea D. Marcelo with highest honors. Finally, we're marking the summit of our journey. After all the years of hardships, struggles, and perseverance, to our active and approachable schools division superintendent, Dr. Salvador O. Uchabo Jr., to our Mother Schools District Supervisor, Maria Teresa V. Villagracia, Honorable Lerinante L. Leonardo, our supportive Brangay Chairman to all the teaching staff of Balatan Elementary School, headed by a smart 
the actor principal to Mom, Nilida Vilaysa. Parents, fellow graduates, friends, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. On behalf of every student here, I would like to express my sincerest gratitude to all teachers and mentors for the precious time and wisdom bestowed on us. Also, I would like to take this opportunity to give thanks to a special people who made my achievement possible. To my class advisor, Ma'am Lainey Pilinardo, thank you very much for being kind and sincere. Thank you for all the learnings and motivation you give us your best. To all my friends and classmates who are always at my back, thank you very much. Thank you for all the fun memories you shared and for believing in me. Lastly, my deepest gratitude to my parents, Mama and Papa, thank you for always at my side. You have showered me with unconditional love, support, and this patience and good discipline. Your countless sacrifices had made me realize to do my very best. I hope I made you proud today. I love you, Mama and Papa. And above all, to our Almighty Father, for all the strength, courage, guidance, and wisdom showered on me. Thank you, Lord, for what I am today. To my fellow graduates, we end up a glorious chapter of our lives at Balatan Elementary School. But this is not the end. This is a just beginning of our journey. So, let's step higher in realizing our dreams. Congratulations to us and God bless us all. Batch 2020 to 2021 is now signing off. We will listen to the graduation song of our graduates for school year 2020-2021.
As we close the portal of elementary years to our graduates, may you uphold the next ladder of your education. With appreciation, excitement, eagerness, and willingness to learn. But don't forget to put God as the center of your yearnings to learn another chapter of your life's journey. Once again, congratulations! Ladies and gentlemen, the recessional march. Thank you.